At the corner of Halliburton and Normal sits a building that is full of both history and hope. Many in the community have fond memories of Greenwood Elementary School, but the effects of time are starting to take a noticeable toll on a once beautiful building. Truman State University is the current owner of Greenwood. With the help of some key allies, the university has a plan that would save the historic structure, strengthen community partnerships, offer new areas of study for Truman students, and help meet a rising public health need. The university has proposed the creation of the Greenwood Center, an interprofessional autism clinic which would serve children with autism, suspected autism, and other neurodevelopmental disorders. The purpose of the center would be to provide uh, much-needed autism services for individuals and families in Northeast Missouri um, who now uh, generally go down to Columbia or into Iowa for those services. It could mean a lot of things. I, I think for some families, it could mean that they're going to get services that they wouldn't otherwise get. Um, for others, it would just be a lot easier and um, uh, they'll receive so much more comprehensive care and um, care that is family focused and um, just can really help their child um, develop to their potential. And that means a lot for uh, families and for just all of Northeast Missouri is to have um, people in our area um, have the capacity to um, reach their potential developmentally. For the Tillman family, learning their son Tate had autism changed the perspective on the disorder. They were fortunate enough to get an early diagnosis, but there are limited resources in the area for kids his age. It makes life a little bit harder, not because of him or his actions, but mainly just trying to get him the help that everybody says that he needs, but yet there aren't any services, especially for children this young. Everybody kept saying early intervention is the best. My husband and I were all about it. We were ready to go. And then it's like, well, there aren't any services. So here's some speech therapy or here's some OT. It's like, how do you do speech therapy with a two-year-old? <laughs> His brother's not even talking. He's not gonna talk. There's a window for those uh, young children, and the earlier you get them, the more likely you're going to have success. If you wait till they're 9, 10, the prognosis isn't as good. I've seen little three-year-olds go through um, an ABA program when they start, they're crying, they're nonverbal, and there's behaviors. And after intensive ABA services uh, for a couple of years, I've seen children that have language, they talk, the behaviors are much improved and we're not crying anymore, and they're learning. Another way the Greenwood Center will meet a public need is by helping to train future healthcare providers. In conjunction with the clinic, Truman is creating a master's degree in mental health counseling. These new programs will work collaboratively with Truman's existing programs in communication disorders, nursing, health and exercise science, education, psychology, and music. Autism is a disorder that requires a very interdisciplinary approach. An individual with autism might need um, health care uh, from a variety of different professionals. Um, an occupational therapist, a physical therapist, a speech therapist, uh, a, a regular pediatrician. And if we have a center where all of those um, health care provisions are um, provided, then it makes it so much easier for the family to coordinate their health care and to get the, the required health care that the individual might need. The more people collaborate, most likely the better your services are going to be and your interventions will be evidence-based. So um, I think the community will benefit, Truman University will benefit, I think the public schools up in this area will benefit. I just think it's a great service to children and families because we can't train people fast enough to work with children with autism. There's also children with other neurodevelopmental um, disabilities that will also benefit from the autism interventions and strategies. They work for other, other types of 
disabilities. It will benefit more than just children with autism. I just think this center could be an outstanding model in the United States for universities and how they train, how they collaborate with their public schools. Autism is a spectrum disorder, so not all children with autism are the same um, and they require different kinds of care and to have uh, the availability of services and professionals working together so that the um, treatment that is required by the individual is understood by everyone involved is really important. We need families not to feel overwhelmed by everything that's involved in helping a child with autism and so you know part of the, the center would be on providing that family support, providing family resources, as well as the individual treatments for the child. And so the whole concept of care is so much more holistic, so much more patient and family-centered. Um, every professional will understand what's going on in the treatment of the client and the outcome is optimized. It would be nice to go somewhere to get support for the whole family and to be told that what you're doing is correct and to be taught some things that you can do at home to help and to further, you know, what they're being taught in school. With a clear vision in place, the only thing standing in the way of the Greenwood Center is funding. Initial estimates put the construction costs at more than $6.4 million. In an era of tight state budgets and increasing fixed expenses for the university, it is a struggle to allocate the necessary funding. However, Truman is continuing to seek state support for the project. It's a really big project. Um, it's going to take a lot of coordination from a lot of different um, people, a lot of different entities. You know, the, the building needs to be renovated and, uh, you know, equipment needs to be bought and professionals need to be hired and services need to be provided and it's complex um, and it's going to require uh, the contributions of a lot of folks. But to see that happen and for that to become a reality in Northeast Missouri, the payoff to the community will be amazing. I just remember my own experiences working with uh, clients and families to see them um, have the ability to feel comfort in their care and know that they're um, getting the best quality services for their child and um, then watching their child progress and, and reach outcomes and develop to their potential. It, it, it means everything to families. It, it really is um, just wonderful to know that um, you know a, a child is working towards goals that they're actually going to be able to achieve and um, that your child's going to live up to their potential. That, that's everything for a family. There's just a whole world out there and it's nothing to be afraid of or ashamed of or worry about and ignoring it does not make it any better.